Well, the last two days have been very busy for me, except for here. <laughs> I've been busy other places, so. Finally, back here on Saturday. I don't do this on Sunday, so uh, I'm going to do as much as I can today. Um, not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Until I get the rifle done, I can't. i got to figure out how I'm going to do this. I've got to be able to put him back on the horse at some point, but then I've got to be able to take him off the horse and fine tune things like his rifle in his hand and all the finalized things I have to do like the headdress and that. <clears throat> so I'm just really at a loss what to do right now. I'm sort of like, it's, it's like my computer's over, overloaded and, uh, I can't concentrate on what exactly I've got to do. So I guess the best thing to do is just start doing something. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. Time to play with some play. All right, I got the uh, warrior back on the horse. Took me a while to get all this set up. I think I've got him too extremely turned on the horse. So I'm gonna turn him if I can. I've got to. Just got to twist his body back around without screwing up everything I just spent. There we go. Not quite so extreme. And I think I'm going to take the flag arm down a little. And I've got a reason for doing this. Because I'm thinking of having the flag touching the horse's back. And that way, uh, the only thing I'd have to insert into his hand is the bottom rod. I wouldn't have to insert the whole flag. I'm going to make a little bit of a promotion right now about my videos and uh, I had somebody ask me on a video that I made several years ago if I how they could learn to do what I'm doing and I mentioned that you can always get to one or two or all of my instructional videos uh, where I jam them with over 50 years of my sculpting experience into uh, these videos. Little tricks and shortcuts and ways of doing things that uh, I've learned over the years. In other words, I'm sharing my 50 years of experience through my instructional videos. So if you're interested in becoming a better sculptor or whatever even if you're doing it just for fun it's uh always fun to know what you're doing for fun well you can check my well, link you can check my link that i have that i have down down below this video below this video i have a I have a link down there that you link can go down there that you can go review the uh, nine review the uh, nine videos that instructional I videos that I have currently currently for sale for sale they're on Vimo they're on Vimo 
streaming so you don't streaming need a, so you don't need a dvd player or DVD anything, player like, that. Or anything can, like that you can just watch them whenever just you watch want them to. whenever you want to on any device you on have, any device you have that receives internet receives internet i'm gonna have to bring his arm have to bring his arm forward. just a little more forward all right i got the uh, some clay that runs through the uh, pasta machine. What's nice about the pasta machine is if you uh, set the depth or the uh, thickness of the uh, clay, you can keep it that thickness all the way through and that way it doesn't look weird like this top layer of the blanket won't look thicker or thinner than the bottom layer in other words it'll all look the same thickness which really helps to uh, make it look uniform <clears throat> it's got to be the same width on the back as it is in the front so I'm going to just being mindful where the legs are. Okay, I made a kind of like a horseshoe nail out of some armature wire. I got to anchor his leg to the horse. And the best way to do that is to anchor it. <laughs> and uh, what I've done is I cut a couple of uh, pieces of wire that I had twisted. And I'm just using this as my anchor horseshoe nail. Sometimes it goes in easy, sometimes it don't. There we go. Well, nothing like screwing up your leg. But I can fix that. I just need that guy not moving around on the horse, that's all. All right, that's going to be pretty much it for this weekend.
I got this uh, potato masher or whatever you want to call it at, uh, at an antique store. And it makes a great clay shaper. All right, that's going to be it for today, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Have a great rest of the weekend, and uh, I'll see you next time. Good night. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.